For this next project, you are going to need a kitchen towel of your choice. I went with this black and white kind of plaid color. If you had the buffalo check, that would be amazing. I also grabbed three bags of these styrofoam snowballs. These are in that crafter square section that you can find in your Dollar Tree store. I also grabbed a bag of these pom-poms in kind of these primary colors. I wanted to be sure and have black options. I also grabbed um, some of my googly eyes that I had in my kit. I grabbed two of these hat ornaments and I'm so glad that I did. Uh, when I got home, this black one was actually probably a little more beaten up than I expected. So it worked out well because I had this black and red plaid one that I used as a backup. And now I'm gonna go with this. I love that burlap that's on there as well. And then I went ahead and I grabbed, of course, three of these snow globes that you see in the back are these fish bowls, I really, is what they're called, I guess. And um, I'm going to use those for the body of my snowman. Now, when I looked at this hat, it wasn't quite the right size that I needed for the top of the snow globe, but that's an easy fix. You can kind of see here, if um, I were to just use this on top of the snow globe, it would, it would fall into his brain and that wouldn't work. So I cut out a piece of cardboard with, uh, a, into a circle and then started to paint it here. I covered it in a couple layers of chalk paint and I did it on both sides of the cardboard including the sides of the cardboard that are pretty exposed. But don't worry about that exposed piece because we're going to actually cover that up once it dries. Now I'm going to take these three snow globes or these three fish bowls and turn them into snow globes by filling them with this styrofoam snow that you can buy at Dollar Tree. And be careful with this because it will get everywhere. <laughs> Now I'm going to give him some eyes because of course we want him to see and we want him to see all the great things that uh, we have in store for him. So I glued just with hot glue his eyes right on his face. And then of course, what's a snowman without a carrot nose? And in this case, it's a pipe cleaner nose that is orange. And then for the hat, that exposed edge that I was talking about, we are going to actually cover that with some of this wired jute cord. And we'll just go completely around the edge of the hat and it ties in perfectly with the burlap that's on that hat. And I love the way it looks. Now let's look at the snowman with his hat on and his nose and his buttons out of the pom poms. It is really looking cute, but let's go ahead and get started on that scarf. Now for the scarf, I wanted to tie in some of the red, so I'm using a piece of mesh ribbon. I've of course got my kitchen towel, and then I want to bring in some flowers with uh, these blings. What do you think? This is my little snowman. I really love the way it looks. I put the flower in his hat. Um, it was styrofoam, so I was just able to poke it right through. And then of course I've got the googly eyes, I've got the carrot nose and the pom-pom buttons. I absolutely love it. As always, thank you for watching and be sure to give me a thumbs up if you love this video and of course give me a thumbs down if you don't. Thanks again, I appreciate your support.